the OJ panel of uh, investigators was uh, <coughs> sent to the uh, re uh, regional trial court of Pasay City. It arrived there at around 12 noon, past 12 noon. Before 4 o'clock, the judge issued a warrant of arrest order. And what did uh, <coughs> Secretary De Lima say then? There is nothing unusual. Reminds me of uh, a song, Nothing Unusual. <clears throat> now that she's on the other side of the fence, she's claiming that there was haste in the issuance of the order, the wa <coughs> warrant of arrest. Isn't this a hypocrisy on her part? That's why I called her the High Priestess of Hypocrisy. She can do to others, but she doesn't want the others to do the same for her. Now, <clears throat> before I start my uh, short uh, dissertation, why the warrant of arrest was issued? One of the issues is that, according to uh, the lawyers of uh, Senator De Lima, the motion to quash information should have been determined first. Well, uh, let me give you a brief background on the rules, <coughs> rules of court. The determination of probable cause for the issuance of a warrant of arrest should proceed the resolution of Senator De Lima's motion to quash the information. Why? Section 6, Rule 112 of the Revised Rules of Criminal Procedure states that the determination of probable cause should be done within 10 days from the filing of the complaint or information. The determination of the judge is only for the purpose of ascertaining whether or not a warrant of arrest should be issued. This is in the case of Mendoza versus People. This is necessary to acquire jurisdiction over the person of the accused, as ruled in People versus De Lara. So in other words, the judge must first determine whether there is probable cause to issue a warrant of arrest. Because if she will not resolve this, the court will have no jurisdiction over the person of Senator De Lima. And therefore, an accused who is not within the custody of the, uh, of the court cannot ask for affirmative relief, like uh, quashing and information. In fact, there are three options of the court. One is to dismiss the case if, if the evidence on record clearly failed to establish probable cause. The other is if he finds probable cause, it is mandated upon him. He shall issue the warrant of arrest. Or if the, uh, <clears throat> the, order, uh, or, uh, the third one is the, if the prosecutor failed to uh, present additional evidence, in case of doubt, the judge may call the prosecutor to present additional evidence. Now, they say the court gravely abuses discretion. That is not correct. Because the fundamental doctrine is that once a complaint or information is filed in court, any disposition of that case, whether it is for the dismissal or conviction, or acquittal of the accused rests in the sound discretion of the trial court. <coughs> On the other hand, Section 1 of Rule 117 states that the accused may file a motion to quash the complaint or information at any time before entering the plea. So as you can see, there is a succession of events. 
the first thing that the judge must do is to find out whether there is probable cause so that if there is, he shall issue the warrant of arrest in order to have the, the person brought to court so that the court will have jurisdiction over him or her. How can they say that that is a grave abuse of discretion? That is in the rules of court. They should better study their criminal procedure. Now, another uh, issue is which investigatory body should investigate of offenses relating to drugs. Actually, this, uh, this is a shared and concurrent jurisdiction between the DOJ and the Ombudsman. However, the court that has jurisdiction to try this case is the regional trial court and not the Sandigan Bayan. It is very clear in the law in Section 90 of uh, RA 9165 that offenses, drug offenses, should be heard and tried by the regional trial court, which has exclusive jurisdiction. So how can they argue that it should be tried in Sandigan Bayan? You know, RA 9165 is a special law. The <clears throat> Sandigan Bayan Act is a general law. And this general law did not amend or repeal the special law. Therefore, the special law prevails. In this case, it is the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Uh, <clears throat> RA 9165. Uh, I have prepared a uh, press briefing for you. You can uh, read it and you may ask uh, questions now if you want to. Okay, are there no questions? Was it clear as mud? Uh, where are the uh, reporters here? So that means uh, <clears throat> you understand it very clearly. Congratulations. <laughs> You're better than the lawyers of the Lima. <laughs> okay. So there being no questions, uh, let me introduce to you uh, the brave uh, young guys who stood for what they believed in yesterday. Uh, Joey, can you please uh, bring them here? You know, this, these are the guys who were berated by this arrogant uh, <clears throat> Atenista. I'm sorry to say that because I'm also from Ateneo. Look at me. <laughs> you know, I salute you because of your bravery that you stood for what you believed in. There should be more of you. Congratulations for what you did. Uh, these are, uh, most of them are students. And you can see, parang anak na ito ni Kwan eh. O apo na ni Jim Paredes ito. Pasalamat si Jim Paredes, hindi pinatulan ito. Kung hindi, bugbog sarado yung si Jim Paredes. Tinanong ko, bakit hindi kayo lumaban? Sabi niya, iginagalang po namin yung magulang sa amin. <coughs> you know? Mabuti pa sila, mayroong kwan eh. Good manners and right conduct. If you have questions sa kanila, please uh, feel free to ask. Wala? 
Now, Jim Paredes, look at me. Huwag mong patulan itong mga bata. Look for a person of your age. Siguro magkaedad tayo. Sinabi mo silang duwag, you try telling me I'm duwag. Humamong ka sa hindi, hindi, hindi yung mga bata. Hamunin mo yung kagaya mo. Okay? Any, <clears throat> any other questions? Yes. Sandra po, Jeremy, Sandra. Yes, Sandra. Um, bakit po nandito yung Duterte Youth and will there be any legal action? May nilalapit po ba sila sa inyo? Well, <clears throat> you know, they are aggrieved at what uh, Jim Paredes did to them. My first re reaction was, hayaan mo na. Uh, patawarin na ninyo yan sila, sila. Pero sinabi nila, kung ganito pang mangyari, Ano naman kung may rally na naman at kami ay lait-laitin, what shall we do? Eh, meron namang abogado siguro dito. Will anybody uh, volunteer to file a case against uh, Jim Paredes? Uh, please state your name for the record. I'm uh, attorney uh, uh, Lorenzo Gadol. And uh, I'm going to uh, take up the case that may be filed by... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm attorney Lorenzo Gadon, and uh, I'm going to uh, take up the case that may be filed by uh, this uh, brave uh, young man, uh, and I'm thinking of filing a uh, uh, an unjust fixation case against uh, uh, Jim Paredes, and uh, also uh, stealing of the art, you know, because that's their property. And so, uh, that's being considered right now. Okay. Thank you, uh, <clears throat> Solgen, Justice Kalita. Uh, for the record, are you a member of the Office of the Solicitor General? No, 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 I am not. I, I, I am a private practitioner, and uh, uh, I am not connected with the government. So, uh, I'm free to uh, handle the case that will be filed by uh, this young man. Yes, pro bono, of course. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Attorney Gabo. Uh, Eric, is there any other topic? Trillianes? Uh, Sandra, siguro you start asking questions so I can uh, respond. Okay. Sir Monoxon sa UTV. Sir, baka pwedeng uh, may isa man lang na makapaghayag sa kanila okay. nung mga nangyari doon. Yung Saturday. Okay. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon po. I'm uh, Ronald Cardem, a butcher man of uh, the 30th. And uh, we went there last Saturday because uh, we were going to Luneta talaga. Pero naisip namin na uh, that was not an, a regular EDSA celebration. That was a gathering of anti-Duterte rallyists and uh, some of the leaders there uh, are planning or they want uh, President Duterte out, from, ano, out of Malacanang. So we wanted to show our support for the President and uh, we had, ano, we went to the tarpaulin shop, uh, we bought, we designed the tarpaulin It stated that, that we support President Duterte and uh, we went there, but uh, hindi naman kami doon sa People Power Monument mismo. Wala rin kami sa mismong sidewalk. Nandun kami sa mismong karsada, uh, kung saan dumadaan yung mga sasakyan sa EDSA. So our audience there uh, were the commuters and uh, uh, yung mga nag-traverse uh, sa EDSA. Because we believe that uh, many Filipinos there traveling uh, along EDSA are supportive of the President. And uh, sila naman, nakaharap naman yung stage nila sa White Plains. Kami nakaharap mismo sa mga sasakyan sa EDSA. Uh, nagulat lang kami kasi uh, lumapit nga si uh, Mr. Uh, Jim uh, Paredes. Tapos uh, nung papalapit pa lang siya, he was uh, making funny faces. Ganyan ang gano'n siya, naikot-ikot siya. Sabi niya, trolls kami, physical trolls, parang ano, robots. And uh, nakikipag ano siya, 
gusto niya makipag-argue, uh, gusto niya makipag-debate. Kaya lang, hindi naman kasi kami talaga nagpunta doon to debate him or to debate anybody. Gusto